Hello everyone, this is Mrs Cross, the Head of DT, and I'm here to talk to you about the GCSE Design and Technology course. If you're considering this course, let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you enjoy creative tasks? Perhaps you've enjoyed the DT lessons at school. Maybe you enjoy creative tasks at home, construction, Lego, model making, etc. Do you enjoy designing? Do you like sketching? drawing, technical drawing? Do you enjoy model making and making products at school, at home, maybe in a workshop, at a club? Do you enjoy using tools and machines and enjoyed using the workshops at school? Do you want to learn more about the design industry and the possible careers that could be on offer to you? Do you want to study a practical subject that takes you away from the classroom gives you an opportunity to get up, move around and get involved in a practical project? Or do you already know that you want a career within the design industry? The course will be taught through a combination of theory lessons, practical lessons, homework activities and in year 10, practice design and make projects. These projects are intended to, to develop your design skills and reinforce your understanding of the theory relating to materials manufacturing processes, electronics and mechanisms. They will also improve your understanding of how to manufacture a wide range of products using different materials, tools and techniques to a high quality to prepare you to make your final product in year 11. The course is split up into two sections. Component one, the design and technology in the 21st century. This is 50% of your GCSE grade. It's a two hour written exam with the examination at the end of year 11. The written paper is structured into short answer questions, some slightly more structured questions and some extended writing questions. And it will assess a variety of theory topics, which I'll explain in a moment. Component two is the design and make task. This is the remaining 50% of your GCSE grade. It's a non-examination assessment which means it must take place at school under teacher supervision. You'll start this at the end of term, the summer term in year 10 and complete it in the spring term of year 11. And as I said, it gets completed in lessons and is approximately 35 hours in length. Now the theory topics that you'll cover can be accessed through this textbook that you'll be given when you join the course. You will develop a range of topic knowledge including the design and technology in the world around us, smart materials, electronic systems and programmable components, mechanical components and devices, materials, manufacturing processes. The non-examination assessment, also known as a controlled assessment, goes through a number of different stages. Initially, the end of year 10, you'll be given three design briefs to choose from. You'll research your chosen brief and develop a client. You'll design, draw, model, make a prototype of your design. You will then develop that design further after some testing and then manufacture your final product and then finally evaluate your final product. You will produce a written or typed portfolio that goes along with the three dimensional product. Now, if you choose any of the design and technology courses that we have on offer for you, there's a huge range of transferable skills. In this particular course, you'll develop your freehand and technical drawing skills, teaching you orthographic, isometric, possibly some perspective and some rendering skills. These are vital skills no matter what area that you'll go into it's always good to be able to communicate your ideas down on paper you'll develop computer-aided design skills using autodesk fusion which we have at school this is a 3d modeling software where you can render the design to make it look realistic apply materials and then extract technical drawings so that you can manufacture each piece You'll then develop your manufacturing skills, learning what you have developed at Key Stage 3 and in Year 10 in the Practice Make projects. 
you will then transfer this to manufacture your final product using a range of different tools and machines that we have available at school. It's crucial that you have complexity to your product, so we need to use a range of the different tools and machines that we have to access the higher mark bands. As always in DT, you will develop those independent and resilient skills. This is an independent product, an individual project, and you will have help from the teachers, but you will have to manufacture the product on your own at school. Problem solving is a skill that you develop through design and technology that can be transferred into so many different aspects and so many different careers. Being able to see a problem and work your way through it, it's a skill that needs to be developed and can be transferred into different careers. Organisation and time management is crucial with design and technology to ensure you meet the deadlines and complete your product and your whole project within the time allocation. And then finally, presentation. Whether it's photographs, presenting a final high quality product, quality of your drawings, your CAD model, presentation skills are crucial in lots of different industries, whether it's a verbal presentation or a physical presentation. Now, design and technology can take you into a range of different careers. For example, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, animation, graphic design, fashion design, product design. Product design could be three-dimensional products, car design, concept designs, but we have great links with industries and great links with companies that can lead you into product designs for Rolls-Royce, McLaren, Apple. It could take you into the automotive industries, whether it is medical, environmental, sports, science, military, aerospace. The design industry is huge. You could end up designing the next generation of cars, robots, artificial intelligence, if you're not sure what you want to do later on, design and technology has those transferable skills that you can cross over into other industries, whether it's medicine, sports science, business studies, being able to manage your own time, problem solve through a particular difficult task, demonstrate your independence and your resilient skills. So if you're interested in this as a GCSE, please come and see us in DT and speak to any of the DT department to find out more. Thank you for listening.